What's up guys, it's Nick from BinBinInc.com and today I will be showing you guys how to do a blackout effect such as this clip. seen the clip go to Google or anything where you can find an untagged photo so make sure if you do use it you give credit to the proper people okay so make sure it's at night drag it to your project there it is drag it to my project all right oh yes I forgot make a new composition new composition hook on HDV HDTV 720 25 Make your frame rate 24, and then make your duration about 10 seconds long. Press OK, and then take your photo that you found off of Google or other websites, Yahoo Pictures, I don't know, uh, Ask Picture, does Ask have pictures? I'm not sure. <laughs> Just drag it down to your comp right there, to your comp. There it is. And then you're gonna wanna resize it up. So click on one of the corners, and then hold shift after you click on one of the corners. That keeps aspect ratio, so you're, so you're not doing this. So you're not like, oops, I think I ruined the photo. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, it's so it so keeps your aspect ratio. So click on it, then hold shift, and then it resizes it. Okay, after you do that, duplicate the photo. Okay, so this, so name the bottom photo base. So I'll just name it base. And then do the top one, city night. Lock base. Go to base and then lock it. Click on city night. Go to effect color correction and then hue and saturation all right so click on saturation take take the scroll bar make saturation like i don't know like minus 100 okay go to lightness and make it like minus 80 minus 90 you can decide at the very end you can change it at the very end because we'll end up using curves to change the base okay plain have that done Turn off the sight so you can't see city at night. Turn it off. There, so it looks normal. Okay, now after you select city at night again and use the pen tool. The pen quick tool is G. So that's the key you should press if you want to go to the pen tool. G. Okay, I have that selected. Alright, so after you mask this, go like this. Un unmark it and then open up masks, mask one. Click on mask path. There it is. So I decided for the very first second, I do not want any effects. So I'm gonna go like this, and line it up in one second. So this is when the mask turns on, all right? So at two seconds, I decide I'm gonna want this part of the building right here, this bottom part of the building to get masked out. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to keyframe a second before it, a frame per second before it. So after you do, after you move it from two seconds, to right behind two seconds, 1.23, press the keyframe button right here, add a keyframe, all right? And then add two seconds, then you can move your mask. Or if you wanted, you can even add more key points. So G, press G, opens up your um, masking tool, and then click and add more points, however many corners there are. Since you know there's a corner right there, so you move this one right there. There's a corner right here, move that one right there. There's a corner right here, move that one right there, like that, etc. I'm going to speed up the footage to show you guys how I do this. Oh yeah, you can, if you want, if you don't want to add more key, if you don't want to add more pinpoints, you can always click on them and drag them, like this. All right, there I'm done. As you guys can tell, I did not I did not make a very precise like mask of this building because it's just a tutorial. If I was getting paid to do this, I'd be doing it nicer for you guys, <laughs> but I'm not. So here, this is what it looks like with the mask turned on. So after you're done, zoom out and click on the vision button again. What happened to the building? You blacked it out. Cool, right? Here's a tip for you guys. Make sure if you do your keyframing, 
Make sure you have your keyframe right before when you have your mask move. You do not want it to do this. You don't want your mask to do this in your video. So make sure your keyframe is right behind your mask point. Cause yeah, you don't want you don't want these things to be moving during your video. It doesn't look realistic. All right. So after you turn back on the vision, you can see it's blacked out. Okay. So then you're gonna wanna lock that. You're gonna wanna lock city at night. You're gonna wanna unlock base. Click on base, and then go to effects, color correction, curves. Okay. I don't know if you guys work with curves or not, but curves is a great program. It is great. So. Once you have base selected and you have curves put on it, you can go like this. Make it darker. Move move the little kin, move the little key button a little bit darker. So you, now you can see it matches the sky. So it looks it looks a little bit more realistic, doesn't it? Rather than rather than having this, I thought I, I thought so. Okay. So now lock base back up, and then go to city at night. Unlock that. Click on it, and then now you can mess with the saturation if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You can mess with your you can mess with your lightness, but see if you have see if you want this to be good, you're gonna want to have it actually like right on the edges of the building. Because if you see if I mess with the lightness, you can see all it is is grayed out. That's all you see. So make sure you guys mess with these settings. And uh, yeah, please guys tune in next week for our tutorial. And uh, visit binbininc.com for tutorials, banners, YouTube layouts. Photoshop, etc. Thanks guys for tuning in and I'll catch you on the drift.